holds his word above his own name. His word means everything to him. When he makes a promise, he'll, he comes through, okay? Because his word means that much to him. And so when you start coming to God and saying, God, this is my problem. This is what's happening in my life. But your word makes promise that every mountain shall be removed. Every problem be taken out of the way. Why? So that God will be glorified. God doesn't want you to shrink back in fear. God doesn't want you to get scared about your problems and your circumstances and try to look for some place to run and to hide. God wants you to keep moving forward. He wants you to keep pressing forward. He says, if you shrink back, I will not be pleased with him. It's not that God is angry. Listen, I heard this verse of scripture preached many times, and everybody says the same thing, that God isn't going to be pleased with you. If you turn your back, if you fall away, if you lose your faith, God is going to be upset. God is going to be mad. God's going to, that's not what it's, I don't believe that's what it's talking about. Listen to me. What I believe this verse of scripture is saying is that God is looking for somebody who will be strong in faith. And you might have to be patient for a little while. You might have to persevere in the face of circumstances and problems while you're waiting for the mountain to obey the voice of God and get moved out of your way. But God wants you to hold on because He wants to have pleasure in you. Are you listening to me? You have the ability to bring joy and pleasure to the heart of God. How do you do that? By hanging on in the face of all of your problems until the answer finally comes. There's going to be a test. When you start walking in the things of God, when you start believing God and having faith in God, Sometimes things don't happen immediately. Sometimes things don't move out of the way right away. But you have to hang on. And God wants you to be the one that hangs on and doesn't let go until what you have declared from the Word of God comes to pass. Because when it comes to pass, it's God's answer into your life. And when He gets that answer into your life and you receive it and you experience it and you have joy in it, then you give pleasure to the heart of God. Are you listening to me tonight? God wants you to find a way to believe Him so that His purpose, His plan for your life can be fulfilled. Listen, when you see your problem, start declaring the Word of God to it. What's your problem tonight? I don't know what your problem is. Maybe it's your upcoming test and you didn't study for it. Uh, that could be a problem. Uh, maybe it's problems at home. I don't know what your problem. Maybe you're sick. Maybe there's something going on in your family right now. Start finding the promises of the Word of God about the problem you're facing. Because God has made many promises in the Bible about every area of your life. Hello. Every area of your life God has made promises about. Find the promise and start speaking the promise. Start telling God what His promises are. Remind Him. Start speaking to your problem. Don't get mad at God. Speak to your problem. One of the things God's been telling me for the last two months is take back your authority. Take back your authority. What does that mean? It means that I've got to be the one to push forward. God's already done it. He's waiting for me to cooperate with Him. Are you listening to me? God is waiting for you to cooperate with Him. He's already said it. He's already promised it. He's already done all that He needs to do about it. Now He needs you to start speaking to your problem. Don't get mad at God. Speak to the problem. Don't get upset with God. Start speaking to the problem. Don't get mad at your parents or the authorities that our sister was talking about. Start speaking to the problem. When you start speaking to the mountain, Mark 11, 22, 23, and 24 says, when you speak to the mountain and you don't have any doubt in your heart, you tell it to get up, be cast into the sea. Get out of my way, problem. Get out of my way, circumstances. Get out of my way, death. Get out of my way, sickness. Get out of my way, cancer. Get out of my way. Because I'm going to keep pressing forward so that God gets all the glory. Amen. Amen. God wants you to find a way 
to give pleasure to his heart.